I'm going to show you how to get an image not to scale up to full width in the new builder inside MailChimp um, because they don't yet, I don't know if they're going to add it, um, have the constrained proportions checkbox that's in the old builder. When you drag an image in, no matter what size it is, um, when you toggle over to mobile, it the email will be responsive and the image will go full width. Um, so in most cases that works fine. But in this case, I have maybe like a tiny icon or something that I need to stay in the same proportions. Um, you have to add it a different way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll, you'll drop your image in um, and then you'll do, so you can do full right center left. I'm going to do center and then like you can see this is very pixelated because I want it to display at like a small size. So I'm gonna scale it down. And then once I hit preview and mobile, it's still full width. That actually doesn't look bad, but I don't want it like that. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna add the image in, um, in HTML instead of dragging it from here. So I'm just gonna, you could do it in a code block or just like a text block. So I'm gonna put, a text block in, click on code, and you're going to paste in this little piece of HTML. Um, you're going to grab the image URL, so that's going to be this one. So I'm just going to right click on it. That's why it's also helpful to put your image in first. Um, so then you can copy the link. So I'm going to, it'll either say copy image link or copy image URL. And then go back here. And in between, these two quotations, I'm going to paste in the image link and then the alt text would be whatever your image is. And then here's where you can adjust the width and the height. I'm only going to adjust the width because that's all I care about. Um, but you may, oops, that's 900. You may uh, want to do the width and height. So that's about the size. And I think I'm going to make it a little smaller. Uh, and this is just the pixel width. All right, so then you can save that. And so now when we go into preview, you have both images, one's the right size and one's responsive. So I'm just gonna delete this one. And because I can't put this code into the YouTube description, I will pop it on my site so you can copy it from there.